Hey guys, what's up? This is Danny Muller from T.Heat. This is the answers portion to the Q&A video I did earlier. Let's get this started. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Alright, we got the first question here. Danny L. And she asks, Danny, I want to know if you had one wish, what would it be? And don't let it be a better voice because you got that shit sorted. Thank you very much for the compliment. I really appreciate that. Uh, one wish, what would it be? Hmm. I would try and ask for maybe a hundred more wishes. Uh, unless there's some sort of clause in that. But uh, if there is a clause, then I would wish to win the lotto. It would be nice to win a few million, don't you think? I think that's everybody's wish. But uh, other than that, I think I'm fine, man. Lotto. Yeah, lotto for sure. <laughs> Alright, the next one. We got, how the fuck do you pronounce this? SFG for the Horde. Okay. And he asks, or she, tell us about how to make an okra bomb. Are you fucking serious? To make an okra bomb? Come on. But I got the answer right here. Hold on one second. All right, come closer because you know what? This is a secret. So if you want to learn how to make an okra bomb, come closer so you can hear me. Come closer, come closer. Fuck you. Am I looking at the camera? Fuck you. All right, here we go. First you need two pounds of fresh okra or two pounds of frozen, either one works, doesn't matter. Uh, this is very important, okay? This is the main ingredient, you need this for sure. It's one to one and a half pounds of lamb. Okay, get that right. You need three large chopped tomatoes or 28 ounces cans, diced tomatoes if possible. Doesn't matter. Seriously, come on. What the fuck? Make an okra bomb. Next question. Okay. Next question is... <laughs> fucking Flavio. Flavio Di Giovanni. Did you always wear stilts or did you grow up with them? LOL. You motherfucker. Okay. Guys, girls, let me take a sip out of this. Hold on my coffee. Okay. This is grade seven. Me and Flavio. We're both the fucking same height. I can't help it when he grows up and shoots up like a tree, that fucking ostrich. Here you go. Look, you tell me. Okay? You see that? There's Flavio and there's me. Name's backwards because I can't fucking print on this. It seems like a mirror or something. But there's Flavio and there's me. It's about the same height. Grade 7. Motherfucker. Calling me short. I'll get you. You watch. I'll fucking get you. I hope you're enjoying fucking Afghanistan. All that shit they do. Anyway. Next question. Again this fucking guy. SFG for the horde. He says... Danny, when will you and Flavio give your reaction to four girls finger painting and one guy, one jar? Are you fucking seriously? Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we all know Flavio has like a low gag reflex. So he watches that, he's going to puke right on sight. I would pay money just to see that. So damn right we're going to do that. As soon as he gets back from... I think he's fucking, I don't know, Azerbaijan or fucking Afghanistan. I don't know where he went on vacation. But as soon as he comes back, we'll do that for sure. I'm in. Whether he says no, yes, whatever, we're in. So, count on it, buddy. Next one. Tyler Pede, buddy. He says, hey, Danny. If you watch wrestling, who's your favorite professional wrestler and why are they your top guy? Or even top guys to fill in more time. Peace from Fredericton, New Brunswick. Nice to meet you, as Fredericton. I love that place. I was there a few years ago for work. Beautiful, man. Oh, you just got to go across the coast. That's beautiful there. I think it was Fredericton I was in. And then, no, Moncton. But it's border. I think it's like an hour away or something. But anyways, back to your question. So, Tyler, uh, my favorite wrestler, obviously, is Hulk Hogan. You know the army does every time he gets to whatever. Anyway, WrestleMania 3. Is what I remember as a child growing up. That moment when fucking Hulk Hogan picked up Andre, Andre the Giant. And body slammed him. Oh man that's memorable right there. 
That's got to be my favorite wrestler of all time. All right. Next one. Now, a few people have all warned me about this chick. Uh, I don't know who she is. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Vicky loves Ted. I don't know. But she's fucking gross with these questions. What the fuck, girl? Come on. What is this? I have a question, you sexy dark-skinned beast. Yeah, well, obviously, you know, I'm sexy and I'm dark-skinned. Thanks. I like that. Anyway. She says, I'm going to make pancake batter with my excreted vaginal juices. Oh, gross. Would you like a big stack of Mama Plum's pancakes? Uh, no. I will pass. Uh, to be truthful, I don't even like pancakes. I truthfully love waffles. Store-bought. No fucking ass juice or crease or whatever fucking name you're... Ex Vaginal excretion and no, 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 waffles, butter, and syrup, maple syrup, Canadian baby. All right, next one again, her. So, I guess it's another question. Here we go. She says, Do you use beard oil? I say, Stop using it and use me. I'll spread my plum juice all over it while you dig for a. Giant sea slug in my juicy ocean. I'm the most flavorful woman on earth. Men want me and women want to be me. I get more men in a week than most do in a year. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, I don't use beard oil. You know, I, this is clean shave. This is how I shave. I'm always good at that. Everybody compliments me on that. Um, as far as... Yeah, I don't even know if I want to answer that, but uh, that's gross. Let's move on. Yeah, yuck. No, move on. Okay, Gear Bear Production. Have you always been a chili head, or what got you into it? Also, what is the meaning of life? So, two-part question. Hmm. Have I been a chili head? No. No, I knew nothing about this chili head world. Flavio got in, got me into it. I guess he did that on purpose so he could see me dying and my ass burning and my mouth blowing flames. But uh, overall, actually, it's not bad. I really do quite enjoy this. So, I mean, uh, the chili world itself, I know there's a lot of drama from what I heard. I stay out of it. Fuck that. Don't get me involved. Keep it to yourself. Um, I'm here for the comedy. You know what that is? I'm here for you. So to make you laugh is my goal. All right. So I think also uh, I'm kind of liking this guy, Brad. And you know what? The Metal Madman, I believe his name is. Uh, sorry if I got that wrong, buddy. But you know what? You two, so far from what I've watched and what I've seen, I enjoy it. It's hilarious. They try to keep away from that drama, which I like. And I think everybody should too. Stick to the channel. Do your thing. You'll go far. If you get drawn into this young and restless bullshit, you're just going to flop. And I mean, yeah, you'll get views, you'll get subs. But what good is it if you're dragged into some sort of drama? Um, watch. I'm going to be dragged into drama right now. But that's okay. For me, everything slides right off. I'm used to it. Throw whatever you got. doesn't bother me. But I prefer to stay out of it. So I'm here to entertain you. And that's what I'm going to do. To make you laugh, guys. I love it. Um, what got me into it? I explained that. Okay. Meaning of life. Come closer. The meaning of life is... You got that? Yeah. There you go. Next one. Michael Douglas, my buddy. What's up, bud? Thanks for the question. And... The fuck, man. Anyways, he says, How was the aftermath from eating that peach boot jolokia? How are you enjoying being a YouTuber? Are you the only Persian midget or are there others? LOL. You motherfucker. <laughs> okay, let's answer that in the first stage. So the first question is, How was the aftermath from eating that fucking hot pepper? 
it was okay. Now at first, you, you saw the video, it was like fire in my mouth, man. It was burning, it was hot, intense. So it was, I don't know, it, it gave me an adrenaline rush, which was great. Um, as far as cap cramps go and all that, you know, the capsaicin, I think they call it. But uh, as you saw when I was rubbing my stomach, that was more because I felt the bloatness. It wasn't from the actual pepper. That was actually because of the milk. Because fucking Flavio has only milk in his house. And he has no kids. So I don't know. But anyways, other than that, it was it was hot. I mean, the next day, obviously, all any, any person that eats any of those super hots knows you're gonna shit flames. I did it the once, but it didn't. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Overall, it was good. The taste was amazing. I mean, I enjoyed it. It was actually very good. And I'm looking forward to doing the next one. I think Flavio said I was doing a tea butch or something. I'm not sure. But when he comes back, we'll deal with that. If he comes back from fucking Warsville over there. But um, how am I enjoying being a YouTuber? You tell me. Am I doing a good job? I'd love to hear the feedback. Um, I enjoy it actually. You know what? I'm getting better at this. The videos are coming more fluidly. If that's a word. But uh, other than that, yeah. I'm loving the ride, man. It's good. I mean, comedy is my main thing. That's me. I'm approachable. I'm, as my wife would say, I, I'm, I'm a people's person, so you throw me anywhere, I'll make friends. But overall, it's great. I enjoy it, and I'll be here, so hopefully you love having me. Um, the Persian Midget. Go fuck yourself. Damn you. What is this? Where, where did this all come from, this per short Persian Midget? My head's above the table. Damn it. You pricks. Anyway, let's get to the next one. All right, here's here here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's uh, SFG for the horde again. Have you seen Bishop Brad's Playhouse? Brad is missing. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it, so I can't even comment on that. But <laughs> I think Brad's uh, somewhere with like five chicks or something. I don't know, Texas. Uh, he's got that one segment I was watching, like Buffalo Bill or something. I don't know. <laughs> That was hilarious. I'm sorry. I had to laugh at that one. But overall, a uh, great guy. So thanks, buddy, for shares. And uh, you know what? Watching the videos, I've taken, a, I've learned a few tips from there. So I might use them on the next segment. I don't know if I'm going to do like a, the pimp uh, get out, but we'll see what happens. Uh, again, Vicky loves Ted. Oh, God. I want to know what the nastiest thing T. Heat has done in a bedroom. Would you have sex with me and Shonice? Shonice? I guess that's what's, uh, how you pronounce it. While playing a game of hide the baby carrot. How about a game of what's in my blood spud? That's gross. I'm sorry. I mean, everybody else probably knows, knows who this Shonice is. I don't. I don't fucking care. But, uh, yeah. You can keep that. Keep your carrot or whatever you show up there. I have no idea. Whatever. Last question. Is Wedding Bells 09. How good of terms are you on with Xerxes? Motherfucker. Again with this Persian shit. And secondly, what is the one challenge subject you will not consider doing? Xerxes. Come on, man. That's fucking Flavio. I think he's the fucking tall giant bastard. The second question is what is the one challenge subject you will not consider doing nothing perverted no sex shit no uh, sticking my dick up my ass or something no we don't do that i won't do that he wants to do it flavio uh, he's probably doing it wherever he is right now i have no idea but we'll keep it at that but other than that give us challenges we'll do them man i'm up for it flavio's got certain limits i think but uh, overall i think persuasion he'll probably do them yeah no worries. But again, that's it for today with all the questions. Uh, the answers have been responded. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next segment, guys. Peace.